Welcome to Dalgia Community Worship. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you and we adore you, Lord. We adore everything about you. And we just ask, Lord, that you have your way here tonight. And we thank you, humbly thank you, for all you have done for us. Have your way and, and bless this time, Lord, and you be blessed with the worship and the praise. For it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
angels we have heard on. I think it's interesting that the shepherds in the field were called to work, you know, see the Lord and to worship Him. And it's the common people. And yes, the, the, the three wise men, whoever they were, you know, followed the star and, and they, they did find Jesus in a manger. And I just, you know, anybody can find Jesus. <laughs> anybody. Because the Lord is calling you. The Lord has done this for each one of us. It doesn't matter if you're um, a peasant or if you're um, a, a wealthy person. Jesus is here for you. And we're to worship him, to praise him, to give him all glory and honor. He, he wants our heart. He wants our whole heart. So this Christmas season, are you looking for him? Look in that manger. Look, look in this world today to find Jesus because he's there and he's waiting for you. Look up to him because he's calling you. Yeah, it's funny. It's like how he set it up from, you know, from Mary, who was just, and Mary and Joseph are just common, everyday people. Um, to your right, the, you know, when he was ready to be born, the shepherds in the field, just common, everyday people. And at that time, being a shepherd was, you know, that was probably considered one of your lowlier jobs mm -hmm. that you could do, um, as far as what people thought. But on top of that, he had three wise men come as well who were seemed to be very wealthy, you know, bringing gifts to Jesus. So it was like he was saying, you know, this is for everybody. No matter who you are, no matter what walk of life you're from, I want you all to be included. And even throughout his ministry, he chose 12 disciples that were just common, ordinary men. But there were other people who came, like Joseph Arimathea, you know, people who were well-known, well-to-do, you know, and he welcomed anyone who wanted to know him. Right. So he's all-encompassing. He just wants the whole world to know him. Amen. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's Amen. right. And there will come a day that every knee shall bow, and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord forever. It's going to happen. No matter who you are, you're going to be confessing that. And you just want to be on the right side, and the right side is with Jesus. You want to know him as your Lord and Savior. You want to serve him because he's the Prince of Peace, the bright morning star, and our Jesus, he is Lord forever. <laughs>
try to say, oh, God's, God's debt, you know, God, God isn't anywhere, but God is very much in control of everything, and he, his desire is that you look to him and know that our God is not dead, and he's surely alive, and he's roaring like a lion. Can you hear his roar? Can you hear his roar? So let heaven roar and fire fall. Come shake the ground with the sound of revival. We need revival in this land. We need people to, those that know the Lord, to come forth. Those that know him, to go forward and proclaim who he is because our God is not dead.
not dead. He's roaring like a lion. Are, are you hearing his roar? Are you waking up to his roar? Hallelujah. He is so good. We're just so thankful for all that he has done for us. The forgiveness of sin. And we have hope in him. We have everything in him. Without him, there is nothing. And we're just so thankful. We praise you, Lord, for who you are. There is a truth older than the ages. There is a promise of things yet to come. And there is one born for our salvation, and that is Jesus.
without him is hell and you don't want to be there it's it's horrific you do not ever want to experience that so look to him follow him he has a plan for each one of us he cares about each one of us and that's why he came because he doesn't want anyone to Well, as you were talking there, okay, I know you all want to go. Um, you know, as she was saying, you you either accept Jesus and you go to heaven, and he did everything he could so you could be there with him because he wants you there, or there's hell. You know, God doesn't send anyone to hell. No one. He does not. We make a choice about where we spend eternity based on our ex whether we accept Jesus or not. And I don't know what more he could have done to save us. I mean, you know, I think if we totally, really, truly understood what heaven was like and what it must have meant for him to come here. Mm -hmm. and, and he didn't come, like, as a king in this world. He is a king, and he was a king, but he didn't come like that. He came as a teeny tiny baby born to just common everyday parents and live in this world and so he can identify with everything that we go through in this life. And that's why he did it. So that he can identify with us. He knows what we're going through. He knows what life is like. You know, and he's made such a beautiful home for us where we can be for eternity. I know we have to do is say yes to him because he loves us. Because there's no other name that God has given among men where we can be saved. Only the name of Jesus. Hallelujah.
us. The earth will shake and tremble before him. Chains will break as heaven and earth sing. Holy is the name. Holy is the name of Jesus, our Jesus, our blessed Redeemer, the Holy One. No other name but Jesus can we be saved by. No other name.
<coughs> could sing that song longer, but <laughs> and like I sought the Lord and he heard and he answered. Are you seeking him? Because if you're seeking him, he's hearing you. And even when we think we're not seeking him, he hears you. <coughs> There can be times in your life where you think you're just so low that you don't know what to do. And if you just look up, He knows what to do. If you look up, the Holy Spirit will just speak for you. Because the Lord knows what we need, each one of us. You have to trust in Him. We all have to trust in Him. Jesus. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Born of his spirit, washed in his blood. He has washed us in his blood. We're white as snow. And we're forgiven. As long as you ask and re repent, he will receive you. He's looking for you. So look to him. Perfect submission. All is at rest. Is this your story? Is this your song? Jesus is your blessed assurance that he's your savior and the salvation in, in your life. Look to him. Trust him. Amen. So. Exalted, for you reign magnificently, you rule victoriously, and your power is shown throughout the earth. And we proclaim tonight that our God is mighty. We lift up the name of Jesus, for he is holy. We sing it again, and we give him honor and glory and adoration. We bow before his throne. And as you said earlier, Every knee is going to bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. Now, we can willingly do that now. Amen. Bow down now and proclaim Jesus is Lord. Is it a scare tactic? No, it's just the truth. Because he is Lord. You know, and we do declare his majesty we do proclaim his name is exalted you know he came as a tiny baby as i said earlier for one reason and one reason only to live a perfect life and then to give his life <coughs> so that we can all be saved saved from what saved from hell Amen. because there had to be a sacrifice a perfect spotless sacrifice he became that sacrifice for you, for me, for all of us. You know what, tonight, if you've never made him the Savior and the Lord of your life, do that. It's like, you know, the Bible says that his thoughts of us are as the sand of the sea. As many as the sands of the sea. That's a lot of sand out there. And that's how much he thinks about us all the time and that's how much he cares about us so you know give him your life today reach out to him because if you reach out to him he will be there and he will answer you i sought the lord and he heard and he answered that's why i trust him that's why i trust my god so we're going to sing this tonight we're going to declare his majesty tonight and wherever you are, just worship and praise him and reach out to him because he hears you. Hallelujah.
churches tomorrow because Lord we pray that your spirit would move in a mighty way Lord and you would have your way in your people your church Lord and Lord tonight we give you the praise Yes. we give you the honor we give you the glory because you are so deserving of it Lord and we say thank you God for you are so good to us in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen Amen 